Okay, the next so-called man of God I'm gonna expose is Joel Austin. It's time to expose this devil. Man, he was on vacation in Jerusalem with his family when his mother-in-law suddenly died. He went to make arrangements to get her body back home. The consulate said it would cost $5,000 to have her shipped, but he could have her buried right there in Jerusalem for just $150. The man thought about it a moment, said, no, I'd like to have her shipped. The consulate said, wow, you must have really loved your mother-in-law. He said, no, it's not so much that. I just remember a case here years ago where they buried somebody, and on the third day they rose. I can't take that chance. All right. I have a great mother-in-law. Come on, let's say it together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I will be taught the word. I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is ready. Okay. Selma. I wonder what the Bible is now to really says now here about in Matthew chapter 18. I've been shocking for us. At the same time, there came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little crowd and said, and said, uh, said Well, yes, I to you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little, as a little child, say, is the greatest of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive of me. But whoso shall offend one of those little ones who believe in me, it will better for him that there are millstones were hanged around his neck and it were drowned into the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of the offenses, for it must need that the both come. But woe the man, the offense cometh, where of thy. Yeah, and now. We know that teachers apply Israel, especially Israel, but there are also teachings that apply to us. It's the old covenant about us, but what was the hyper dispensational? And it came to pass, I'm still a dispensationalist, but not hyper. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished his singing, he departed from Galilee and came to the coast of Judea, belonged to Jordan, and we fought to him and dealt to him, and first all the companies. Saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife every cause to him? Have you not read that which he made at the beginning? Have you made a female of his call of man? Was and shall cleave to his wife and say to her, Flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh, who God hath joined together. Say, 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 say unto him, Why did Moses have a command to give a wife? And say, Moses, because of the hardness of her hearts, will wife. So, and in first twenty, first twenty-three, then said Jesus unto his disciples, "Where is said unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven? But I said unto you, it is easy for him to go. The rich man enter into the kingdom of God. Where is the disciple heard it? So we see the amazing thing. Who can can be saved? Jesus about well, with man is possible, but possible, but with God all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all the false sea. What shall we have before? And she said unto them, Worldly I say unto you that ye which have for me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of glory all also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel and Everyone one that half a second house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for money a hundredfold shall inherit everlasting life. But many said a first shall be last and the last shall be first. Receptive, I will never be the same in Jesus' name. God bless you. I want to talk to you today about more than enough. We're not supposed to go through life constantly struggling not able to fulfill our dreams, or not able to be a blessing to anyone else. Yeah, I've, uh, awesome. 
here we are. Had here is a more of a typical New Age thinking. After you watch it, uh, a faith or in between where where some him or what he calls faith or what the example Dave Hunt calls faith. Black is not your destiny. You were created to live an abundant life. But if you've struggled for a long time, it's easy to develop. No, it's who the God don't chapter seven ten. Actually, we actually work to be sick because I'm with God. But it's not because with everybody is really, we be his actual will is really in John chapter six verse thirty. 39 and 40, and this is the first word which have sent me, that of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing but should raise it up, say, and this is the word of him that have received the son, and believe upon him, may have ever lost enough, and will raise him up at the last day. Simple as that. A scarcity mentality, thinking, I'll never be able to afford a nice house, I'll never have the funds to really bless my family. But as long as you think not enough, you'll never have more than enough. You have what well, that's a very tough confusing, confusing thinking. I uh, sorry I don't see the load you can hear. You have to get rid of that scarcity mentality and start having an abundant mentality. God God has ways to increase you that you've never thought of. He's not limited by your job, by your education. Or by the family you were raised in, if you'll take the limits off of him, God will bless you beyond your normal income. It's not true that God will occasionally bless you, but he said as he also blessed as he also blessed Abraham. But yet here it's all my replacement fear. She said, Ah for us, that's the case we're in the church. You have to fight against. Please, if you see that. Prosperity gospel is not Christian. It of course, I'm not all. There's many verses we have from also applied to during the time of Jacob's trouble, but it doesn't change. Maybe some. Yeah, but for his tribulation will be immersed here. Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 And ye shall be hated for all men for, for all men from man's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. Right. I believe the believer believe in the church is eternally secure, but only if he's truly saved. Are you saved? Please examine yourself. It's important. Yeah. God bless you.